morning everyone. It is just after five o'clock on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to bring you like a day in the life video today. Um, I'll explain, explain properly later. Um, I come to you from my bathroom because I'm trying not to wake up James. Um, but I've got my BCAs, just about to have some brekkies, and then heading off to the gym, so I will talk to you more on the way. But good morning, and we're ready to go. Okay, so I've woken up a little bit more, and I can now say good morning. Um, I'm just on the way to the gym, and I think it's about six o'clock. Um, as I say, I've had my protein, had my brekkie, um, BCAs, and I'm lucky enough after the weekend at the Arnold to be stacked full of samples. So I've got some optimum nutrition and amino energy um, to wake me up, keep me going. Um, so I just want to make it clear that from my last, what I said a moment ago. Um, I'm in no means trying to show off and say, Ooh, look at me, I'm up at five o'clock, look at how hard I work. Um, my aim through these videos is to show you that um, there may be times where it's hard to fit your training in or hard to stay um, within what you might call your diet or fit enough food in. But if you're organised and you plan it out, you can make it happen. There's no reason why not. Um, so today, just to put this into context, um, I'm working from 8.30 to 6.30. Um, it's only Wednesdays and Thursdays I do that, so it's not overly tiresome. Um, but it does mean that I need to be organised with my training and with my food to make sure that I can still fit it all in. Um, so I'm quite lucky in that I don't really have any big commitments, um, no one's dependent on me, I don't have any children. Um, the only thing that I have to think about and consider really is work and I guess maybe you could say that I've got some bills to pay so I do have to be mindful of that. But other than that, I can pretty much do what I want. Um, so in this case, um, and this is completely down to my preference, but I like to get my training done in the morning because I know that after a 10 hour day at work, I'm not going to want to train. And if I do, chances are it will probably only be a half assed effort. So is it really worth it? Mm, not sure and by the time I get home it'll be about nine o'clock ready to do it all again tomorrow and I like to have some downtime time to chill so this way works best for me and um, like I said in my previous video I love being organized I love being prepared and along with this um, I always prep my meals the night before. I did when I was at home, I do when I'm out here, just because I know that when I get up in the morning, prepping meals, packing your bags, it is the last thing you want to do. Um, so last night I prepped four of my meals for today. So I'm out of the house from about half five, six o'clock in the morning until about seven o'clock at night. So yeah, about four of my meals were ready, um, not including my brekkie that I just had. Um, and then I pack my bag, get my clothes ready for the gym, clothes ready for work. So the aim being that I can roll out of bed, um, eat my breakfast, get dressed and go. Um, there's method in the madness, and that being, if I woke up at five o'clock in the morning, 
um, with all of these things still to do, it would be a lot easier to get back into bed, to roll over and say, nah, not today. Um, you want to make this lifestyle as easy for yourself as you possibly can. Um, so that is why I try and be as organised as I can so that it's easy. Um, you don't want to make life hard for yourself, of course not. Um, so that being said, here I am, time to train, I've got hammies, glutes and a bit of calves, been neglecting my calves, so Mondays and Wednesdays it's on. Um, cool. So, smash my session, just on the way to work now. Um, feels quite nice to be coming to you when I'm actually dressed, awake, not in the dark, um, and actually normal clothes for once, not in gym clothes. Um, so yeah, had a great session, hammies, calves, did a little bit of cardio on the stepper as well, just to get a good sweat on and get my heart rate up, um, and just had meal two as well, so that was chicken and rice. Um, takes a bit of getting used to having chicken and rice at 8 o'clock in the morning but it's all good um, after you've been up for three hours feels like mid-morning anyway so happy days um, yeah so like I say work now from half eight till half six um, and I'm going to show you later on how I manage to fit in my meals through the day and how I make it work without having to not eat enough or without binging on rubbish foods just because I have no other option. Have a good day, speak to you later. I wanted to show you all where I work, so welcome to the shop. I challenge you to find a cuter fruit and veg shop. Um, so it's an organic store. Um, as I'm sure you can see, my job is pretty taxing. Nah. Um, so yeah, this is where I live the dream every day. Um, chilling with the veggies. I feel like I'm on cribs, like. <laughs> Here's the cheese fridge. Here's the carrots. <laughs> anyway, um, so the reason behind my strangeness, I want to show you how I make eating and this lifestyle work while I'm at work. Um, obviously I'm quite lucky in the way that my job can allow me to eat. Obviously I can't sit here with a knife and fork on the counter. Um, so just to show you an example, it's mid-morning now, we're just hitting 10 o'clock. Um, so I'm going to be having a load of almonds and also a shake. So the idea behind it being it's easy, um, you, like I said to you this morning as well, you want to make this as easy as you can for yourself, you're not here to make life hard or else you wouldn't enjoy it. Um, so I'm going to have this now, then at lunch I can sit down and eat something proper, then this afternoon I'll do something similar but I won't have a shake, I'll have some proper food, maybe some chicken or um, whatever I fancy really. But the idea is to just keep me away from things like this, all of this amazing food that I surround myself with every day. So I'm finally on my way home after a long ass day. Um, I actually had a really good day and then you know sometimes you just have those days at work where there'll just be a series of events in the space of a short time that stress you out and you get yourself into one of those moods where you hate everything, you hate everyone. Oh, I don't know. I get myself all worked up, but I'm a firm believer that people come into your life for a reason, maybe a good reason, maybe a bad reason, but either way, it's going to teach you something, whether you like it or not. So, taking this as a positive, I'm learning lessons whether I want to or not. Um, so yeah, just on the walk home, thought to myself, I'm hungry, I'm tired, I'm going to nip into the supermarket and get a bottle of lemonade for the walk home. 
go to open the lemonade, of course it's either been dropped or shaken and it goes everywhere. <laughs> and you just get to that point where you're so busy having a strop about whatever's happened during your day that you just have to stop and laugh at yourself. Like, what am I going to do? Shout at a bottle of lemonade or throw it on the floor? No. So, I'm smiling. I'm on my way home. I can't be too ungrateful. And as soon as I get home, I've got food, so I can't complain about that. Just rest up, get ready for tomorrow, do it all again. Practicing what I preach with a smile on my face. <laughs> no, I'm joking, it's all good. Um, just can't wait to be home now. Um, gonna have to show you my wheels tomorrow. I didn't bike today, but. Um, I got a bargain of a bike, found it in pretty much a heap of rubbish at a second hand place um, just down the road. So I'm going to show that to you guys later, it's a beast. Um, but definitely taking the bike tomorrow. Again, I'm all about making life easy for yourself. So what if it doesn't look cool, don't care. If it shortens my walk, my walk to work is about 30, 40 minutes. So I can make the walk well, the bike, 10 minutes, happy days, I do not care. Um, yeah, learning these lessons, keeping a smile on my face. Let's do this. And I'm back. <laughs> I also wanted to add, um, I don't know if it's just me that experiences these feelings and call me crazy, but when you're having these strops and your bad moods, I know I'm being a stereotypical girl here, but isn't it during those moods where that pack of Tim Tams looks even more appealing and that pot of ice cream, oh it's on offer, that would be nice. It's those moments where you want to make yourself feel better by almost rewarding yourself. I guess it's not really a reward. Um, you want to try and make yourself feel better and pick up your mood by eating that food that you enjoy. Um, and it can be moments like this that I quite struggle with. I um, don't know if it'll help anyone out there, but like I say, buying the lemonade today, sugar-free lemonade, I think the stuff that we get have like 0.1 grams of carbs in or something ridiculous, but it's pretty much nothing. Coke Zero, Diet Coke. Obviously it didn't work out quite as planned today with it going all over my face, but usually that's a winner to curb hunger cravings satisfy that sweet tooth um and i also made some jelly yesterday sugar-free jelly is a godsend um so i'd already made that yesterday so that's ready to go for when i get home so i can tuck into that because when you're tired and you're feeling rubbish it would be so easy to jump on that cheesecake or oh, oh so many amazing things the list could go on but try and stay focused don't undo your hard work for a bad mood or for someone stressing you out or annoying you because then you'll only be annoyed at yourself and it's a vicious cycle so what I'm trying to say is laugh at the situation try and find the good get a good drink down you, have a good meal, and sleep. People say that, I think it's like, a good laugh, sleep, and a good meal can cure almost anything. Hallelujah, I believe in that. Okay, now I'm gone. Okay. So just to get a little bit of perspective with what I've been saying today about meal prep, organisation, blah 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 blah. Um, I've come home, I've had something to eat and drink to keep myself happy um, and I've just got everything sorted. I think it's taken me about 20 minutes, half an hour, so it's not a killer, it's worth it. Just get it done and then sit down, make your life so much easier. So, just to show you, I've just got my rice cooking at the moment, that's in the microwave so that'll be good to go. I've weighed up all of my chicken here, so I've got three lots of chicken, 
that's my shake for post workout. I'm trying to carry this bad boy around with me. Um, another thing we got free as part of our stash at the Arnold holds 2.2 litres of water, so I'm trying my best to make myself drink some more water. Um, haven't got my breakfast ready, but that's just protes, so that's easy enough. So that's the four meals that I was referring to, plus post-workout shake. Um, this has got like some crazy compartments in the bottom as well. Um, also got a digestive enzyme in there to have with my post-workout meal. James is big on his digestive health, and it's something we're trying to focus on, just to make sure our bodies ticking as well as they can be. Um, so we're both trying to get in the habit of digestive enzymes with our biggest meals and also daily vitamins. Nothing too complicated, just the little things, they might help. Um, like I also said, I've got my gym clothes ready. I've done things like charge up my headphones. Um, just the little annoying things that it's easy to forget about. Get it done while you're on your feet and you're awake. Um, I've got my outfit ready for work tomorrow. You can hear the music in the background, by the way. Abby McRae, thank you for the tip off. Um, Hilltop Hood, sick. Give them a listen. So good if you uh, get a chance. A bit loud. Um, so, this is my um, stash for tomorrow's pre workout choice. Whee! What to go with next? And while I'm at it, like I said, I wanted to show you my bike. So, it's his and hers. This is my boot just here. Like I say, $50. That's £25. Champion. Um, and this is James's, he's got a road bike. While I'm at it, I may as well just show you the house. Um, so we've only got a little Diddy studio apartment, but we wanted to pay a bit extra and rather get extra space in the apartment. We paid for a balcony. So this is East Brunswick. When the sun rises, it shines right into our room. So it's literally the dream, it's all I've wanted. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see with this camera, but right over that away, that's the city, Melbourne CBD. Um, so, what more could we ask for? Living the dream. Um, so, I think that's pretty much me. Um, I'm tired. Um, that's my day. Like I say, I just wanted it to give some perspective to how you can make it work if you want it enough um, if you don't care you're not going to do it and that's cool it's, it's not a problem um, but if you want to make it happen and you're struggling to work out how you can it can be done um, you've just got to be organised and you've got to be willing to put in that bit of extra effort and time um, I'm sure this hasn't been the most exciting video but that's the method in my madness um, so I'm thinking at the weekend of maybe posting some kind of training video um, like I mentioned previously the girls who have had my glute training guide ideas plan whatever you want to call it um, I was thinking of filming my glute training session so that I can kind of give some maybe coaching tips um, and explain what I was trying to say in that document because like I say picture paints a thousand words it's so much easier to verbalize your thoughts than to get them down on paper um, so that's my thoughts but if there's anything you would like to see or like me to talk about or like me to do then let me know thank you all so much for your support from my first video for what was just a complete blag I've had so many nice messages and it's hit like 400 views in a day or two so I'm so excited and I'm so happy thank you all so much I am going to put my face in a bowl of jelly have a good night everyone